In this question, we're asked to find the constant a in the first part. So first of all, let us try to visualize what this initial wave function looks like. So you have your x-axis, and then you, this axis will be the initial wave function. So let's evaluate it when t is equal to 0. So we call that the complete wave function is as two variables, x and t. And uh, we're told that this wave function looks something like this. So from 0 to a over 2, so a over 2 is right at the middle. This function is going to be a straight line that goes straight up. So this section here will be capital A times X. So this section here is capital A times X. And then for the remaining section from A over 2 to A, it's going to go back down in a straight line. And then this section here would be capital A times A minus X. So now our task is to find the value of this capital A over here. And uh, we're going to use uh, this relationship here. So by the probability interpretation, we know that this integral is going to be equal to 1. So we're going to substitute the numbers in into this relationship here, and then we can deduce what this capital A should be. So what should our integral look like? So let's substitute the numbers in. So because this initial wave function is composed of two parts, the integral can also be split into two parts, because that's just how our initial wave function is. It's uh, it's defined by two separate functions. So from a to a over 2, it's equal to ax. And because this whole thing is real, I can do away with the modulus signs and everything, just square this. And then from a over 2 to a, we have a times a minus x dx, the square, and then dx. And then this is going to be equal to 1. So now our task is to actually to solve this integral to deduce what capital A should be. And uh, also, uh, just another conceptual point. So you see that the integral, the bounds, it goes from 0 to capital A. So technically, the, this thing actually goes from negative infinity to infinity. It's just that in these regions, this wave function here is, is going to be equal to 0. So if you look all the way to negative infinity, or if you look all the way to infinity after the after this point a over here, this wave function is just going to be equal to zero. So uh, from negative infinity to zero, the whole thing is equal to zero. From zero to a, you get this expression, and then from a to infinity, it's just zero. So there's just a bit of conceptual uh, thing to you should clarify. So solving this integral, this is pretty standard and pretty simple. So all you have to do is just to be careful and then this integral should be easy to solve. So x squared becomes x to the power 3 over 3 and then a minus x it becomes a minus x to the power of 3 divided by 3 and because of the negative sign inside we need to put a negative here. If you're not sure why we need a negative sign it's actually just a consequence of substitution. So here we have a squared over 8a a times 3 24 and then if you substitute a, this just becomes 0. If you substitute a, uh, a over 2, you get minus negative, so we get a plus. So a minus a over 2 to the power of 3. So that would be a to the power of 3. And then essentially it's just the same as this, a to the power of 3 over 24. So you have an a times 3. So all you have, so this is to the power of 3. So all you get is a to the power of 3 divided by 12 times a squared is equal to 1. So you, we can conclude that a is going to be equal to the square root of 12 over a to the power of 3. So there are several ways to write this out. Maybe you, do, you can, if you prefer, you can pull out a 4 out of the 12. You can get 2 over a times 3 over a. So that's another way to express this answer, but this is our part a.